I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, if you're living your life in prose, well, it's about time you added some poetry to it. Stephen Perez is distinguishing himself as a sensational poet with words that touch your heart and impact your life. He's penned two inspiring works, one a collection of poems called Love Poems for Mary, and the other is called Poems of Me. We're delighted to have Stephen on Spotlight today and ask those like you at home watching to support writers like him by subscribing to our channel. Stephen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Love your work. I'm a big fan. Which book did you write first? Love Poems for Mary or Poems of Me? Love Poems for Mary, my first book. Okay, sounds great. Tell the folks at home what the collection of Love Poems for Mary are all about. Uh, well, it's, uh, I'm a truck driver, mm -hmm. and I met Mary. She's a real person. I met her at the truck stop in Corpus Christi, Texas, and uh, we started seeing each other, and uh, I started writing her the poems, and all, all the poems in that first book are to her, and uh, just wrote them to her to let her know how I felt about her. Wonderful, wonderful. And we're really happy that you shared them with us. And you have an occupation that you don't necessarily associate with poets. So it's kind of a dichotomy there. You're a trucker, a tough guy, but you also have a tender heart, obviously, because you've, you've written some beautiful poems. Do you get that from people? Like they can't believe that this trucker is also a poet? Uh, not really. My, my friends know me that, that I'm that 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 they really believe that I came out with them. Okay. And she really inspired me. She really inspired me. That's wonderful. Wonderful. What is your favorite poem from Love Poems for Mary? Uh mine and also my friends is one that's called uh I'll never hurt you. Any chance oh, you would read that for us? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh it's uh my promise. It's my promise. Over. Well, yes. is there any chance you would read that for us? I don't have, I have to get out the camera to get the copy. I don't, I don't have oh, a copy. Okay, of my, that's, of fine. that's fine. That's fine. Was this one of the first poems you wrote to Mary? No, or? not really. It's uh, down the, about the middle of, uh, probably about seven or eight, one. Great. Now, the folks at home have to be like, okay, what's your relationship like with Mary? Are you boyfriend and girlfriend? Are you just, you know, friends? Are you married to her now? I mean, you wrote a beautiful book of poetry for her. Tell us a little bit about Mary and the backstory there. Uh, well, like I said, uh, I wouldn't say it was a little bit first sight, but she really checked at my heartstrings when I met her. Uh, now, she didn't feel the same way. It took me a year. For a year, she wouldn't even talk to me. Hmm. And uh, finally, I, I warmed her up, and uh, I I decided one day to write her a poem. And the, the first poem, if you notice, is the longest one. Hmm. And I started writing it, and uh, I couldn't stop. The words just kept coming out and kept coming out. I had to force myself to stop. But, wonderful. Uh, wonderful. And when did you first present these poems to Mary? Uh. This was happened at probably 2015, 2016. Mm -hmm. And uh, just, how did you know her? Did you know you knew her from a truck stop, you said? She was a waitress at a truck stop. This sounds and like I, the making of a movie. You know that, right? <laughs> well, in fact, uh, my first publisher uh, was more important, was more interested in the story, our story. So I yeah. didn't actually write the story. I just haven't done anything with it, but... Exactly, because you got these great visuals of this truck stop. I mean, you're on the road all day long, sometimes for days at a time, weeks at a time, maybe months at a time. I don't know. And you get to a truck stop and it's got to be like seeing an oasis to see this girl that you're crazy about at the truck stop at the end of driving all day. Right. Yes. And that's uh, where the uh, the inspiration came. Now, when where did you write these? Did you write these while you were in your rig? No, I, I wrote them at home. Uh, in fact, uh, when I, I don't drive cross country, uh, this all happened. This is uh, I deliver uh, the mail for the post office. Okay. Uh, and uh, so I'm home every night. Okay. So I would get in there 
one o'clock in the morning and I would write. That's what I did in my writing. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, when I when we make this into a movie, we're going to make you a long distance trucker, okay? Because that'll build up the dramatic, well, yeah. you know, that, that seems more reuniting yeah. between you and Mary. That yes. you know, you can't wait to get to the truck stop. You got to take right. a shower. You're going to call up the kids, and then you're going right. to see Mary, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and actually, it didn't work out. Uh, on her part, she said she just wasn't uh, ready for a relationship. Uh, but I kept up with my writing and she she was my inspiration. Okay, so it's a little bit of a sad note there, but not every love story works out. That's right. Uh, the, the, um, the courts of America wouldn't be clogged with divorces if every love story worked <laughs> out, right? <laughs> That's for sure. But, uh, well, she inspired you. And, you know, sometimes love in that state of not actually being fully realized is more enticing than actually getting the girl. It's like watching a movie. Once you get right. the girl, the story's over. It's you know over. What I mean? right. but, yeah. yes. um, once that happens, the drama's gone. So you still have right. that drama in you, which is good. Do you still communicate with Mary? Are you guys still friends? No, no, I haven't talked to her in over two years, I guess. Does she know about the book? Well, she got my first copy. Okay. You got the first copy. Okay, great, great. That's awesome. Well, who actually, knows how this even, love story will work out? You never know. I, I, I didn't even actually. My, I just wanted one copy to give to her. That's all I wanted. Right. And everything else is icing on the cake. Yep. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, what kind of truck stop was this? I'm trying to get a visual for it. It was it uh, one of the big chains, or was it more of a local spot? No. No, it was uh, more like a pop, mom and pop. Uh, it was just a local uh, Corpus Christi truck stop was the name of it. And uh, it's no longer there anyway. Uh, they uh, A refinery bought it, bought it out and tore it down. Gotcha. But uh, I had my memories though. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Club sandwiches, a cup of coffee. And an hour spent with uh, Mary probably Mary. sounded like a wonderful afternoon or a wonderful evening. That's for sure. Yes. Yes. Now, was this your first attempt at writing when you started writing these poems to, to Mary? Uh, actually, no. Uh, I had tried before and it just didn't come out. And uh, like I said, that's, that's why I said she, she was my inspiration. She really inspired me. And uh, yeah. They came out good, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. They're wonderful. They're wonderful. I don't have the book in front of me either. Otherwise, I would read them as well. But that's a good wake-up call to the folks at home. Think about getting the books by Stephen Perez. They're just wonderful. One is called Love Poems for Mary. The other is called Poems of Me. Tell me a little bit about Poems of Me, or at least tell the audience about the book. Uh, poems of Me is more poems of things in my life. Uh, I wrote about uh, Texas. Uh, this area got hit hard by Hurricane Harvey mm -hmm. and, uh, in 2017, and I wrote about that. Uh, just poems and different things in my life. Uh, I had had a, I had a, a, I lost a daughter when she was young, mm -hmm. and uh, I wanted to do something. I never knew what to do for her. And I finally wrote a poem about her. And that's very sweet. Very sweet. Uh, you also wrote a poem for your dad. I saw that in there as well. Well, I, here in the area, I've gotten to where, and I, I submit them to the local paper for Father's Day and for Mother's Day. I usually write a poem mm -hmm. every year and submit it to the newspaper here in Victoria. Very nice. Very nice. Do you have any other works? Are you going to turn this, your love story with Mary into a novel? Are you thinking about that or something? Well, if, if somebody... Hits me up for it. I, I, I will. Uh, I do have. I have twenty five more poems that I'm ready to uh, to uh, publish. Nice. And I've also uh, wrote, written. Uh, I just finished writing my first novel. Oh, tell us so about your novel. It, it's a it's a western. Mm -hmm. uh, I love westerns. Uh, Louis L'Amour is my favorite po uh, writer. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, See how that happens. See how that goes. That sounds great. So, is it a traditional western? Like uh, we could put uh, a young Clint Eastwood in it, or a Chris Pine, or something? Uh, 
Probably so. Yeah, yeah, be young. Uh, the title is uh, Brody Brody Thompson, Texas Ranger, hmm. and him and uh, his friend, who is a U.S. Marshal, go after these uh, bank robbers. But it's also a love story, kind of at the end. So it's got a it's got a good ending. Well, sad but good. Sounds well. You know, sad endings are kind of the ones that touch you the most. Like I said, when the guy gets the girl, for me, it's all over. I've been watching a series on TV. It's called CB Strike. It was written by J.K. Rowling. It's about a private detective. First season was wonderful when he was trying to get the girl. Second season, he's got the girl. I'm falling asleep that's it, on the that's series. It. So <laughs> yes. sometimes not getting the girl is the right thing to do. Well, yes. the books are called Love Poems for Mary. The other is called Poems of Me. They are both wonderful explorations of love and life. They're written by a man who is a trucker by day and a poet by heart. And uh, he has tapped upon something inside of himself that will touch something inside of you as well. They are terrific and highly recommended. Available everywhere books are sold, including Amazon. Stephen, thank you so much for joining us here today on Spotlight. Thank you. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. And to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford thanking you for your time this time. Until next time on Spotlight.